Um, hi, welcome back to my uh, vSphere project. This is part 9 uh, of my video. This is about vMotion and vMotion storage. Um, I have all my ESX uh, now and I added uh, each one of them. I added another network. If you can see the network adapters is now uh, up to BM, uh, BMNIC2. That's, uh, that's the latest one I added on my, uh, of course that one is a workstation. Uh, on my workstation I have BMNet1. It's host only because um, I don't need to be a physical one because they are on the virtual uh, virtualization of workstation uh, 7 anyway. So I just selected uh, a BM uh, net uh, host. If you are familiar with the uh, workstation, of course, if you select a BM host only, the gateway is of course 40.1 uh, uh, because the desktop itself is uh, 40.2. And on my new mappings here, each neck on the ESX one uh, on on ESX one I put that 10 and ESX2 that 11 and that 12 and but I haven't added on ESX3 for the purpose of demonstrating to you um, if it's uh, if, if, if it's not configured then it, it will not work now on the networking side we added the 40.10 and of course on ESX2 that's 40.11 and they are both on the gateway of uh, it's not showing here let's just go to the edit IP settings and it's 40.1 that's the gateway of the workstation 7 on that BM net 1 on ESX3 I haven't added uh, networking on that one for the vMotion so it should not work there's no vMotion here but the adapters is already there because I already added it myself um, what else I can describe here um, be mo the, the name of the me uh, the, uh, the switch is supposed to be here be motion one uh, and on the other one is supposed to be the same if you if, if it's not the same then the be motion will not uh, the, the be motion will not work and they have to have a unique uh, IP address so let's do uh, the be motion now so one is running the red hat if you right click and say migrate as you can see you have two selection here this one is not uh, this is graded because you cannot select that one you can only do this one if the guest is off so you can only do uh, B motion on the host and a data store at the same time if it's off but if it's on you can only change by host or by data store uh, on changing data store uh, you can change from uh, if you have multiple share or, or multiple local storage then you can uh, change from that one in the old days of VMware ESX that's so hard to do if you put the VMware uh, the gas on the local and you want to transfer on the Sun or even iSCSI you will have to do some kind of special commands and that is so slow to do but now it's simplified you can just uh, do a B motion on the on the storage or data store on the changing the host changing host is like uh, the flexibility of uh, ESX to uh, transfer all these guests from one ESX to another so the one we selected is uh, is on ESX1 so we can select it on ESX2 and it will say right away if it succeeded or not and of course on ESX3 it will not be succeeded because we haven't put the the switch yet so let's do that so um, on the networking let's add networking and we will select BM kernel because that's the B motion thing and it's already selected the the new NIC because the other two are selected if you select one of them <laughs> you're they will be disconnected the one that is being used on that switch so that let's make sure it's the same be motion one and we don't have LAN tagging right now so 
we, we cannot put any there anything there uh, use this part for B motion next let's put the IP here's the IP that we will use it's uh, that 12 and we should edit the the gateway if you don't have proper gateway it will not work because that's acting like the like a heartbeat of the of the ESX to, to be motion if that one is not present that will not work okay I, I click finish here okay let's go back to Red Hat and right click and say migrate and change host and if we select ESX2 that's succeeded and ESX3 is also succeeded so let's do uh, on the ESX3 uh, let's select the first one it will do it right away and you can see here it's uh, migrating virtual machine and if you expand this one Red Hat uh, is now on ESX3 so it migrated itself okay let's do uh, migration when it's off so you can do this one at the same time um, we can do uh, the data store I will not demonstrate this one because it's so slow on my uh, environment because everything is is uh, nested you know what I mean it's nested I will probably uh, put my iSCSI or open filer on a physical uh, server so that it, it will be faster because I, pre I previously did that it in it, it it made it uh, around 10 to 15 minutes so I will not demonstrate the the storage B motion okay my next uh, video will be the or maybe I let me just add it here um, I will also discuss about uh, distributed switch um, there's a new um, switching on ESX and it's called uh, the distributed switch uh, the purpose of distributed switch is um, when you have hundreds of thousands of uh, VM and of course the problem with net uh, with with the IT is uh, the proper documentation because you know this administrator go this come uh, this uh, new administrator come and and uh, all this all these names are are not uh, in sync so that's why distributed switch is created so on the Trudell data center you can right click there and say uh, new uh, distributed switch and it has of course uh, four up links we will use the default the name let's just put one there click next and we will put it on this three uh, ESX so that will be it will, it will be in sync to the to the three ESX I know what um, I have to read something on virtual switch let's cancel this one I, I think I need to add more uh, more switches <laughs> okay so this uh, conclude my uh, video for now on bmotion and storage bmotion I thought I could include the distributed switch but uh, there's more detail on it so bye